Hi everyone, what is up? I am Kieran the Barber. Today what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be doing a surgical part with a drop fade. Now, I'll show you some images before I do it. I'm going to be doing it on top. I'm going to be showing you how I use my Iolicas to chip in, blend in, club cut, fade, everything. Um, and it's going to be nice skin, nice and tight, just come around the edges. Right, hey everyone, welcome to my um, surgical part drop fade hair tutorial step by step. So first things first, as you can see Tom has this haircut, he's had it a few times now. So what we want to do is, you can see where the line is, we want to re-put the line in first. And then what I want to do is, I want to start my drop fade straight away by taking the angle out of the beard and the hair, coming up and around, then back down the ear just so I can start literally putting my piece before I start fading everything out. So what I'll do is start with that line. Using my Slimline Pose or D8 as they're known as. And literally just slightly just tapping on the skin. You don't want to go in too hard, you don't want to rub. I literally just like to just gently, gently tap so I can slowly start getting that line. And as I get to the top of the ear, I like to curve it just slightly, just around that ear. So you can see, see my blade just at an angle in slightly. Right, so as you can see we put in that line. Now what I'm gonna do is I like to disconnect Tom's beard from his hair. So I'll literally just get a rough idea of where I'm going. So as you can see what I've done there, I've literally just angled that slightly there. Just so I can save the beard, so I know the beard's nice, it's safe, I don't need to touch that again now. And then what I'll do is, I'll come up, and I'll leave about half an inch of the hair, and I'll angle just around that ear again. And then follow my surgical part, just around and down the hair. And then what I'll do is I'll turn my Slimline Pros the opposite way. And I'll just take that chunk of hair out. Because what I'm eventually going to do is I'm going to use my Andis full, full Shavers and I'm just going to skin fade that ever so slightly. But the Slimline Pro allies are perfect for doing this because as you can see, so as you can see on this blade here, the T outliner blade is really small the teeth are really small in it they're for edging and literally doing shape ups with the slimline pro blade the teeth are nice and wide so what you can do is with them is you can taper in the hair you can take out hair because what the wider teeth do is they pick up the hair a lot easier so this is the, these are literally perfect for that okay so continuing just from around here literally as you can see i'm following that line down and then 
when it gets the obsessable bow, however you say that, I'm literally just underneath that bone, about an inch under. I start curving that just to straighten that off. I'm exactly the same thing, because the D8, the Slimline Pros have that white tooth blade. They pick up the hair and they actually want to cut the hair, they want to cut through the hair. If you're, if you're using trimmers and you're, you're going, why aren't my trimmers cutting like these ones? Or they're cutting through the hair, they're getting stuck, they're getting jammed. Check your blade. See if it's got a wide tooth on it or a short tooth on it. Because the wide tooths are more designed for taking out hair. A lot easier than the short tooth ones. But the short tooth ones are more for, as you say, getting them nice crisp hard, hard lines and hard parts and stuff like that. So now what I want to do is, this curvature here, I want to start blending that in, fading that out, making sure I can blend that into that line there. And then I'm literally just going to taper that edge just above that line. For that I'm going to be using the Ionicas or the Super 120s. And before I start that, and it's Cool Care, literally, I'll show you down here. So I get them, switch them on. See they're a little bit loud. Just to lubricate the clippers, stop friction in it, keep them cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my number two grade on. Literally. I'm gonna follow this line all the way around. So I'm not gonna come up on it. I'm gonna follow the fade. And bring it out even though number two isn't taking off hardly anything still taking off that tiny tiny bit So then I'll just literally stick my number one on. It's exactly the same process. Literally, ah, oh, there you go, that's taking a little bit more. So, with the blade onto a triple zero, you stick it on the number one. And what I'm doing is I'm literally just doing a C motion. So I'm, I'm using, I'm just literally waving the clippers up and down. Just to blend in that line. That line is slowly, slowly coming out now. So, the best thing about the Ionicas is the lever is at the back of the clipper. It's not at the side. So you don't have to, you're constantly going. Literally, when I'm cutting hair, I can literally flick like that. So what I'll do is I'll stick on my half grade to start. Literally just looking out. The only bits I really want to blend, I want to leave this slightly shadowed here just to give it more of a point of edge of coming down. So, from about here, that's where you're going to start to see the real blend coming up and around. So, probably a half here is probably the lowest I'm going to do it because I still want to see that slight shadow. And then, as I'm coming up. Curl my clipper slightly using just the three points.
And then what I'll do is I'll put it on a quarter, so I won't go to a triple rule just yet. And literally again, just very, very lightly. Just flick that out. See, I'm gonna stop just where the beard is now. And I'm literally just gonna blend that a little bit in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use clipper over comb, so I'm literally white clipper to dark hair. This on a triple or I'm going to literally take off them last little bits of hair. As you can see, I'm using just a, a circular motion. to get all the hairs off. I'm not coming up, I'm not coming to the side. I'm literally just using a circular motion. So after we blend it down in, it's dropped ever so slightly. To see the shape a little easier, I'm gonna use my Slimline Pros. I'm literally just gonna edge everything up now before I start razoring it or skin fading it. So with my Slimline Pros, fade brush. If you don't have a fade brush, and you're doing fades, you should definitely get one. Because what that does is it wipes all the excess hair. Because when you do a fade, 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 you notice that you'll get a shadow or hair will be left there. So what you do is it combs down, it gets all the hair off of it. So you can see everything so much clearer. So what I'm going to do is... I'm literally edging that up. And you see this hair there? So what I'm going to do is... I'll take that off like that. I'm just going to push into it slightly. And come back up and over. And you can see that once I've gone around with the blade to sharpen that up, that'd be a nice smite curvature too. And this full shavers. The best thing on the market ever. And that's all I really need to say about them. I'm going to show you how they work. If you've never used them before. But literally, cut the ear down. You don't even need to put any pressure on the hair whatsoever. Well, it doesn't use it smooth as a baby's bum. The only thing I would say is to use them properly, to get your best usage out of them. As your hair goes in all different directions, it swells. Usually what I would do is, I would just use the machine, and clockwise and clockwise. Whichever way the hair grows, follow that growth pattern. So say your hair pushing up like you've got a nape at the back, you literally just come down on that slightly, and then come back up. The idea is that'll take all that hair just off there. It's the easiest thing in the world. It's a brilliant, brilliant tool. And what I tend to do is with, with Tom's beard, as I'll show you afterwards, I'll show you how I do the beard. I come down, I edge all this up, and then instead of blading it, I'll just use these. It's a lot safer. No cutting involved, no nothing. It's a lot simple. Right, so now on to Tom's beard. Literally, combing it down. You can use either a really small tooth comb or a fade brush. So what I'm doing is, 
on my slim lines. I'm just bringing the beard in just to shape it. Get a nice crisp, sharp line in it. And then as Tom likes to wear his a bit lower, he doesn't like to wear his right on the jaw. <coughs> so what we do is we would literally, from where the jaw is, you take it an inch just below. So it rest just above his Adam's apple. So the line's already placed in there, so I think he'd show it for me. So I'll comb that down. So I'll get a nice straight line with these slim line pose and then I'll literally just shave it up. Come up on them so I can pick the hair up and out of them. I don't necessarily have to full shave that because it gets really, really close as it is. But you like to obviously look the freshest, so what I'll do is I'll stick the full shavers on. Literally, as you can see, Tom already has an outline of his beard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it right from the middle and then start progressing to the right. Taking that off as I'm coming up. I literally come from the left. And you see there's a jaw length about an inch just below. So then what I'll do is I'll get my fade brush and I'll literally see what hair is there, what isn't there. And then I'll use my Andis full shavers. And what I'll do is I'll literally Instead of shaving, I full shave. So that's what we want to do is before we start razoring anything, because I like to get a razor on my face, shake Tom's beard up. And literally come from the top and bring it down. Get a nice smooth line. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some olive spray or Proline just to lubricate the face slightly. Make sure the eyes covered. Make sure your blade is clean, fresh, um, and had barber side on it. And what we'll do is slowly you can get the camera this way. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
So with Tom's hair, literally, we're going to take the tiniest bit off. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I hold my clipper to comb. Literally, my little finger goes underneath, my pointy finger goes underneath, and my two fingers in between that go on top. And then my clipper is held upside down, just like that. So I can turn on my clipper or unlock my clipper whenever I feel like it. And literally, get Tom's hair like that. Get on my This Tom's hair is quite long, so I literally pick up how much of Tom's hair? About a centimetre. I'll take it off. Clipper club cutting is the most simplest thing in the world. It's very, I mean it looks really hard and when I first looked at it I thought this is going to be so hard to do but it is the most easiest thing to do and it's probably the most safest thing. I, even with gloves on, it's not cutting up my gloves, it's not putting holes in my gloves, that's how safe it is. It does exactly the same thing with your fingers. It doesn't cut them, it doesn't do anything, it literally glides over the hair, takes the hair off. So what I'm going to show you is, this is my way of clipper colour cutting. Now what I'm going to do afterwards is I'm going to show you how to texturise with clippers. Again, it's so easy when you're shown how to do it. It looks hard and I bet someone can you cut the clippers on the top? And you go, oh my god no, that's, that's impossible, why would anyone want to do that for? It's another buckle to your belt as they say. So literally, I've got Tom's head like that. And my clip is just down like that, so uh, I literally like that angle. Let me just check. So you can watch. Now you can do this because it's clippers. You can do this wet or dry, it doesn't matter. Because this is a rotary motor, it will get through wet or dry hair. Will give exactly the same effect as if you were chipping in with scissors or shears. A bit longer because you want to keep we're trying to grow this bit out of Tom's hair, but I still want to blend that in slightly. So I literally put the camera on this side. Now what bear with me. Like saying, so you guys can all see that. Now what I'm gonna do is take that and literally exactly the same thing. Just on, they say just round the edges like you would do with shears or scissors. Yeah. So as we're dusting Tom's hair down, checking the fade over, making sure everything's perfect. What well, um. What I want to just let you know is about styling, especially Tom's hair, is that we take as much pride in our styling as we do in our cutting. Because you could be the best barber in the world. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not even close to being the best barber in the world. But you could be the best barber in the world. But if you can't style hair and you let your customer just walk out of the shop with no um 
no style to their hair, then they're not going to be happy. So to start, Tom's hair's nice and wet, slightly sticky from the pre-product that you used before, but we're going to put in a little bit of Boldy Sea Salt Spray. It tastes salty. So six or seven sprays to the hair. That might be a little bit more. Right, now. now, what I'm going to do is before I put the blow dryer on, I'm going to tell you how I dry it. Because when the dryer's on, it's going to be too loud for me and I'm going to be shouting. So, what I do is when I'm drying, I scrunch. Because Tom's hair is really texturized already from where I chipped into with the clippers. I don't want it to be nice up straight, I want it to be really messy, this modern sort of texturized look. So, literally, so good. Medium heat, not fast, medium power, medium heat. And I'll literally circulate through the hair. And this back bit here. Use my nozzle, my no, literally. Throw that up and out. Always start from back to front, so the front doesn't stay up and dry. I like the back to be nice and messy and dry first, and then wait to make your way to the front of the hair. Next product, but it got to be powderful. Powder is my favorite thing that I found over the last probably a year. Mm -hmm. So, literally, I'm sprinkling this powder in just all over the hair. And what I'll do is massage that in everywhere. full coverage because what you want to do is you want to massage that powder into the roots because Tom's hair is really soft as it is um, and it lays flat so if you're getting that powder all the way to the root it's going to lift the hair it's going to give it volume it's almost like it's back combed here hard mark no bigger than that five pence piece or a cent or I don't know, 25 euro cents. <laughs> you literally rub that in. It's a lot harder to do by the way with gloves on. And then what I'm going to do is afterwards, just spray a little bit of powder in there. Powder? This hairspray, sorry.
So guys, I'm literally just gonna pop the camera off and I'm gonna walk you around this haircut. <coughs> So as you can see, where we've just literally fought, as you come round, drop faded that, surgical part in there, took this chair to a number two to a three, disconnected there, so we've got the hair will come and push over. We've left the crown, just round here, nice and weighty, so what you can do is you can build that up, push that out, spike out instead of it being flat to the scalp. And if you come round to this side, exactly the same thing, but without the surgical part. So, let's zoom out slightly. So you see that comes up and round, and literally we leave here weighty, blend the rest of that in. No surgical part. This here to a two to a three, disconnected from the top, push forward. Let me show you how that fringe sits. So you see that fringe pushes slightly, comes right over to the left. And that is that choppy, texturized, disconnected look on the top. If you just lift your chin off of me. And that shows how straight the beard is with the slim lines and the foils. Right guys, thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope how you learned how to do a drop head with a surgical part with a messy, texturized, clipper cut top. Um, if you like my video, please give it a subscribe, please give me a follow, um, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> That'd be absolutely fantastic. I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. Take care of yourself, be safe, stay sharp, be awesome. Thank you for watching.